Hey folks, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com So first and foremost, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who have been subscribing to me, you know, for quite a while, you know, because I just saw recently that I have actually more than 300, so, you know, a very big thank you to each and every one of you because without you guys, you know, there probably well, probably wouldn't be, you know, even a TradingWithRainer.com So I'd like to say thank you, my heartfelt appreciation for all your encouragement and support So for this week's video, I'd like to share with you about trend about trend trading i like to talk more about, more about trend trading right as you know the trend only trends about 30 percent of the time 30 percent of the time so if you're looking at about say uh 10 pairs of currency at any given time you probably expect about three pairs to be trending at one time all right so i like to talk about trend trading because you know although we have a trend all right the degree i would say the intensity of the trend varies over time Okay, so because I myself look at about 20 pairs a week, so I typically typically hope to find about 6 pairs that are trending. So out of these 6 pairs, some may be trending or I would say pretty slightly like this, and some are trending like this. What I look for is those setups which are those setups which are trending really intensely, alright, these kind of setups. So with that, let me share with you some of the setups I'm looking at this week. So without further ado, let's... Look at some charts, and first thing I want, you, I want you guys to look at is actually the Canadian pair. So the first one is the dollar Canadian. Look at the weekly chart. I zoom out a little. You can see that this pair has been actually in a retracement for quite some time. Okay, you can see the retracement coming in. This portion here is a retracement. All right, the primary trend is actually still up. All right, but the last few weeks, I'll say the last, I'll say since February this year. It has been retracing downwards from the high of this swing high over here to the low of 106.2. So, what's what happened this week was very interesting because the Canadian he had bearish news, alright, pretty bad regarding the unemployment, and you can look at what pattern formed on last week itself. We have a bullish engulfing, alright, the engulf the prior week candle, alright, engulf the prior week candle and close near the highs of the second last. Two weeks ago as well, this candle over here. So it sends a very strong signal to me. And look at the daily chart, right? It's even more obvious. As the, the bullish engulfing candle, this one over here, engulf the last eleven candles if you calculate. So it's a very strong signal sending me sending to me that telling me that you know this pair could potentially, you know, rebound from here onwards. Alright? So that's for the dollar Canadian. Let's look at the Euro Canadian. Again, similar story. It had retraced for quite some time, right? It retraced and it formed a bullish engulfing candle this week. So definitely, if you ask me, I'll actually expect the Canadian to weaken in the coming weeks. And the last pair to share with you guys would be the Canadian Yen again. So the Canadian Yen, again looking at the weekly chart, you can see that price, what it did was it formed a, this this price pattern. Some, some people, they call it the bull trap, right? Those who long on the breakout. Right, the breakout over here are now trapped because price formed a bearish engulfing pattern and those who went long are actually in the red right now. So a bull trap or fake out whatever pattern you have to call it. Again, nonetheless it's a a clue that tells you that price, alright, or I would say this pair, Canadian yen, is looking lower it's looking to, you know, trade lower in the coming weeks. So basically, after explaining those three pairs, you're looking to you're looking to see the Canadian, right, depreciate in the coming weeks based on the the chart, the price patterns that we have analyzed over the three different pairs. So, since we are looking for the Canadian to depreciate, the next question to ourselves, or I say to myself, I'll ask is, which pair should I pair it up with? So, because technically, I would say, or ideally, I like to pair it up with a really strong currency pair, because only that if one currency pair is very bullish and one is bearish, like the Canadian, then we will have a nice uptrend like this right so this is the kind of setups i'm looking for each and every week all right with a strong bullish fundamental story going against a bearish fundamental story only then you can expect to have a nice beautiful trend so you guys follow me so with that let's look at two pairs that i'm actually looking at that have this nice fundamental against a bearish fundamental background the first pair i'm looking at it's a it's an exotic pair actually to be to be honest and it's the new zealand against the canadian Look at the weekly chart. So this is what I'm talking about. Can you see the intensity of the trend? It's like pretty parabolic if you ask me, right? It's 
as uh, trendy as you can ask, as, as trendy as you can look already. So a very nice, beautiful uptrend. And look what this week pattern you form a bullish engulfing, all right? So let's look at some key levels I'll be looking at to long this pair. The daily chart you can see here, and this is the four hour. So for me personally, I'll be looking at the four hour, and this is the level I'll be watching over here. So let me zoom in a little to give you a better representation. Okay, so this level, I would say is the 93.70, all right? So let me be a little precise about it, 93.70. This area, let's look at why it's significant. Previous, we have previous resistance, previous resistance, price broke out, test a support, we test a support, once more before going up higher. So should price come back and retest this 93.70 here, I will look to go long. Right, I'll be long down here. But another possibility that what price could do is you will never retrace to this price level over here. So another level that I'll be looking at is at this level over here. Right, so why is this significant again? Look left. We have previous resistance, 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 price broke out. And when price break out resistance, what happens? We have previous resistance turn support. And the area I'll be looking at is around the 9410 area, which is around here. So at this level, Another key level I'll be looking at to get long. Traders could look for a bullish candlestick pattern like a pin bar or engulfing, or they could simply long at this this level and get their stops somewhere over here, right? Because if this level is broken down, right, this stop loss is as much as you need. So you're looking at pro probably about 93.80, 93.84, I mean, all right? That's your stop loss level. So take profit target wise again at a swing high. So over here, I'll take half. So that's for the New Zealand Canadian dollar. And now you know why I'm actually looking at this pair, which is really trendy right now. Another pair I'll be looking at is the pound Canadian dollar. Another pair. Look at this. I'll just look at this. Just look at this the intensity of the trend. Right? How parabolic it is. So parabolic, then it starts to retrace. Right? Retracing or consolidating right now. Possibly forming a triangle pattern to break out once more. So before it does break out, I hope price give me an opportunity to get long before it does break out. Should it break out? So where would I look to get long? Looking at the daily chart, we can see nice support coming in here at 182. 182 level over here. And another support at 180 level, which is also a significant round number. Most traders would pay attention to it. Thus, you saw the bounce over here. So nonetheless, the first major support that will come in is at 182 on the daily chart. Take note. Looking at the 4-hour chart, Again, similar as the New Zealand Canadian, two levels I'll be paying attention to should price retrace. First up, 182 over here, and the second will be this previous resistance turn support over here. Alright, so yep, these two levels again, similar way of entry with the New Zealand Canadian dollar. So yep, this is my, my I would say, approach to trading, looking for the really trendy markets, you know, finding strong fundamentals again, the weak fundamentals, thus resulting in such parabolic trends like this. Alright, another pair that I'd like to share with you guys, alright, since I've still have some time, would be, let's see, how about the Euro Pound? Okay, the Euro Pound, look at the weekly chart again. Very nice downtrend, you know, you can see, you can see the right, pretty nice. We have lower highs here, 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 and nope, failed to retrace to give us any significant high in the recent weeks. Looking at the daily chart, alright. It's even clearer, right? Okay, I think you can draw a downward trend line over here like this, right? So where would I look to get short? Looking at a forward chart, you can fine tune our entry and zoom out a little. You can plot two resistance, one there and one here. So the levels I'll be looking at to short would be, let's see, 79, 75 around here and 80, 30 around here. So again, pay attention to these two levels because this is where price could potentially reverse from here. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys find it useful because if you do, you can, you know, drop down to my website at Trading with Rainer and, you know, there's free materials, free articles out there that you guys can actually check it out. So without further ado, I wish you good luck and good trading. Thank you and goodbye.